Yeah, hi everyone. Uh, today we will see about the working of an NMOS transistor. Basically, when we are talking about NMOS transistor, most frequently we will be discussing about the NMOS uh, transistor enhancement mode. So, here you can see a two dimensional picture of uh, uh, the NMOS transistor where the NMOS enhancement mode transistor is having three terminals not only uh, enhancement mode, even repletion transistor also. So, here it is having a source, a gate and what we say a drain, a three terminal device whereas, we have an oxide layer as well as a polysilicon below the gate and a metal connections are given to your source, gate and drain. Okay. So, always an NMOS transistor consists of an end of fusion and with is induced into your p-type substrate. Now, if you see here the NMOS transistor when uh, if you see the what we say the three dimensional picture in the inversion mode that means whenever I apply a positive voltage on the gate a channel is formed between your source and drain then such kind of transistor is called as a inversion mode or we are making a path between your channel that is source and drain for the flow of your electrons. So, how this channel is formed that is what uh, we are going to, to uh, see today. Okay, right. Now, as I have shown that my NMOS transistor is having a source, gate and drain. This source and drain are diffused into a p-type substrate. Now, the n-type and p-type are forming a p-n junction here and here the n-type and p-type forming a junction. So, now let us make the connections. Now, if you see here my source is in the forward bias, the positive of the gate is given to the positive terminal, negative is given to n type. So, this particular connection is in the forward bias and if you see here the positive of this connection is given to the n type. So, it is in the reverse bias and the negative is given to the positive. Now, so this is in the reverse bias and this is in the positive or forward bias. Now, let us see what happens. If no positive voltage is applied between the gate and source, the MOSFET is always non-conducting. So, whenever I am not applying any source voltage, this is non-conducting, there is no flow of electrons in this one. So, applying the VDS with 0 VGS means I am applying a little bit of VDS value as 1 volt and I am not uh, increasing your VGS value. That means, I am keeping VGS as 0 and increasing the VDS. So, if VDS is increased, this is reverse biased, naturally the depletion region width should increase. Now, I am applying a voltage VGS is equals to VT, where the VT is the minimum threshold voltage, the voltage which is applied on the gate to invert the channel. Now, as VGS I have made at 2 volts such that the more positive electrons, the more positive on the gate will repel the electrons and that will make the electrons, so repel the holes and make the electrons to form a channel between your source and drain. And moreover, as my VDS value is 1 volt, that is making a reverse bias in this particular junction and this depletion width is increasing. Now, the inversion layer formed perfectly when VDS value is 0, means when the VGS value is more and VGS, uh, VDS value is 0, then the channel is formed perfectly and uh, there is a bridge between your source and drain for the movement of your electrons. Now, when VGS is greater than VT and VDS is equals to 0, only possibility what we have is the formation of the channel electrons attracting towards the channel and holes moving away as we are applying the positive voltage. Now, when VGS the gate voltage is greater than the threshold voltage and the VDS value is less than the effective gate voltage, then there is a possibility of current flowing within the circuit. So, this is how uh, our NMOS transistor is going to work. Now, let us see if I increase the VDS value, what is happening? When I increase the VDS value, as this is in the reverse bias condition, this depletion width is going on increasing. As the depletion width going on increasing, what is happening is, there will be a 
pinch off which is occurring in the channel. So, when the VDS value is much greater than your VGS minus VT, the pinch off will occur and there is no connection between your source and drain such that there is no flow of current between your source and drain. So, thank you for watching. Uh, for more videos, please uh, 